Hey, Mike. Hey, man. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm going to be doing much better once this beer gets opened. I hope. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have a beer that, according to the bottle, is a little bit as a year past its prime, but I'm I'm pretty confident it's probably still going to be pretty good. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> this is a 2018 Goose Island. Oh, you can't really see that Goose Island Bourbon County brand stout. Says ages up to five years in the bottle. It is 2024, so we are at that six year mark right now, right? I think I have some older ones too. I should probably go verify. Oh, I definitely. I was I, when I was looking for this. I was like, <clears throat> it was a 2017, 2015. I don't have a 2016 though, which is the strangest thing. Which was the same thing with I missed the 2016. I, I said this before. I missed the 2016 for Narwhal, and I missed the 2016 for 1050. I don't know what happened in 2016 where clearly I just didn't age stouts or i drank them immediately <laughs> drank them is is likely the issue <laughs> and i probably should have done that all the other years <laughs> all right we doing this one what it? are we doing here Let's open it. yes Let's do it. yeah uh, and just for cl clarity's sake here uh for the viewers this is cellar temperature this is not refrigerated at all mine was cellar and i put it in the fridge for all five minutes and then i, I was like what to do it and i was like you know what i'm gonna see if mike's around i was like do you have a 2018 i'm about to do this really quick before we watch a movie let's do it and then he was he he he, he found his bottle too because you know we have bottles all over the place because we didn't we don't drink our bottles like we did in 2016 clearly <laughs> every other year we just were like let's just throw them in the cellar for a bit all right i'm using my electro glass in case anyone's wondering what this was what's it called electra is that the name of it? Yes. Or is it literally Electra, like 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 the comic book character? No, Electra is the type is the name of the class. It's a, oh, nice. this is a, a triage class. I'm using a glass that you got me, my uh, Bourbon County glass. There we go. It's pretty much pitch black, right? Like yes. I got about a finger of re uh, little medium medium darkness khaki head. I got virtually no head. <laughs> Just a little, little bit of bubbles around the side and at the top of it. It's just. <laughs> what's the ABV on beer? this one? Uh, Very 14.7. Was yours, yep. what's, what's your bottle on date? July 18th? I'm oh, sorry, yep. July 11th? Uh, July 11th, yeah. Yeah, okay. Not that it matters because I, I think most years there is like slight variations depending on the bottle on date, but it doesn't really. Yeah. It looks awesome. You want to get, get a nose? I, I'm already getting it. <laughs> yeah, me too. Let's get a proper one. <laughs> like fudgy raisinets yeah with just like dark dark fruits and like just dark dark chocolate there is like a good like there is like a good boozy aspect to it as well but like that like fudgy raisinets if someone made like those cherry cordials but made like raisinets as cherry cordials instead of the cherries maybe with bourbon <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I, hope they I, hope, I, hope, I hope they never make those. <laughs> yeah, it's it's extremely rich, just decadent, chocolatey, roasty, fruity, like dark dark fruits. Even like a little bit of like um like dark cherry hit, kind of uh, pruney kind of a thing, figgy. Pruny for sure. There's something a little bit right at the back of the like of the nose. There's like you still get a little bit of like the base, a little bit of the roast, but it's like it's like a whisper, and it's gone. Yeah, I mean, I, you, I get a whisper for sure, but I mean, like a I get I do get the roasty aspect, but it, it is definitely coming through more like um, just like rich chocolate. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it smells delicious. And I don't remember what we thought of the 2018. Like I feel like the. 2020 was one that we went really goo goo gaga over, but like it could have been, I don't know. Do you remember it all? We could have no. looked, but we didn't. But anyways, let's, but this is six years later. So let's do it. Cheers. Oh, wait. One more. Clink. There we go. <laughs> oh, that booze. Yeah, the booze is a big, 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 big part of that flavor. Wow. It, this is very, very boozy. That was crazy. I did not expect it. Didn't come up. It didn't come come in right away either. It kind of gave you a little bit of like good flavor, and then I was like, "Bam!" <coughs> I right. 
yeah, wow, it's crazy how the ethanol comes through like big time, like as it finishes, right? Like mm. it's sort of like silent and stealthy. It's like, here's some roasty toastiness. Here are those stone fruits, a little bit of sweetness, and then boom. Yeah, honestly, I think the the um, the most prominent flavor we're getting out of this is the ethanol. Yeah. Um, it's not, it's vaguely, it's vaguely whiskey-ish. But I mean, this could be anything. It, it is a very, very sharp. Yeah. <laughs> hard hit. Wow. Um, I wonder if it, I wonder if it's a little colder if it wouldn't come through that strong. Well, like I said, mine was probably like five or ten minutes. It was still, and I, I put it in the main fridge too, like like the main like the cold fridge. So, but I don't know, the five five ten minutes probably didn't do too much to it. But that won't do anything though. No. If yeah. you, you'd have to have it in there for two hours to do anything. Yeah. Even five minutes in the freezer won't do much to the temperature. Yeah. Um. Yeah, on a, this is coming through more like a like a spirit. <clears throat> like something that you'd sip in a snifter. I mean, you have a snifter, I guess, but yeah. Um, the, the chocolate is much stronger on the nose than it is on the palate. Mm -hmm. it, it does have some chocolatey vibes, but not like that rich fudge that I was getting uh, on yep. the, um, on the nose. Mm. I, I, it, that is strong. Wow. It's crazy how strong this is. And I, I can't, I'm trying to think back. Like I, I, 2018 was like eons away. Right. But like, I would, I would think that like there would be a, a memory in both of our brains of like a bourbon County that was this boozy. Right. Like you think that would like kind of like stick as a, as, 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 as a note, but I don't remember that. remember that at all, but maybe, maybe, maybe it was, no. maybe it was regret, or maybe this just, you would think that, that this type of heat would die off after six years. <laughs> well, it didn't. Um, it does have a stickiness to it. it certainly, is um sweet. Yeah, uh, not I'm, like cloying or anything, but it's but it, it it's sticky sweet a little bit. Yeah, um, the malt feels cr the malt feels not, not creamy. Yeah, it's a little bit syrupy. Yeah. Um, did you say not syrupy or syrupy? Syrupy. Yeah, yeah. I would like the initial flavors. It has that sweetness. It has let like a little bit of chocolate. It had, does have a little bit of chocolate. You Roast. get a little bit of stone fruit. The roastiness comes through, but then <laughs> just like all that's really great. And then all of a sudden it's like, bam. Yeah. I, I, I still would call this overall really pleasant to drink. Yes, it's yes. just that it's um the, um I think, I think when the chocolate and um the sweet fruit is a little more prominent, the hit of the alcohol is not as um noticeable. And this one here, it, it is it is quite strong, like on, um, on the throat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. On the back, it says intense aromas of charred oak. I don't really get charred oak, vanilla, caramel, and smoke. It's interesting. It just says it says aromas. Don't don't taste any those. But yeah, smoke I get a little bit as at the aftertaste as like it ashes out on like like that ashiness. But yeah, caramel I can see vanilla. Yeah, I mean, Chardo. I can see it fine, probably. Sure. I mean, yeah, I mean, it roasts character, I guess. I, I'm not quite saying charred oak. But, I mean, yeah, you get, like, you get wood and barrel. I'm not sure if it's necessarily, like, a, a charry kind of a note. But, yeah, um, maybe. I don't know. Listen, it, it's yummy. It's, it is what it is. It is. Oh, I'm but, definitely going to finish the whole bottle. It's going to be fantastic. Oh, yeah. This thing's going to get boofed for sure. This is my... Technically, last single bottle of 2018. I still have that um, 2017, 2018, 2019 um, vertical I bought like many years yeah. ago. Like that was just another. It's but I don't even know why I bother keeping that. I don't know why I just want to bust it open. Like it's all it is is just three fucking bottles. <laughs> it's not anything really special, but um, I think it's fun to have. It is, but we've been talking about doing it with Kyle for the last. Well, Five 20, years. since 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 2017. <laughs> so seven years, okay. Yeah, seven years. About seven years, we still haven't done it. We'll do it with the holiday special, along with all Sean, the, all Sean, the, stop all it, the, stop it, stop it. Let's do the parabola. We're gonna do a parabola vertical. We're gonna do a Bourbon County vertical, and we got a 1050 vertical. And don't forget yeah, about and, the, then we the, then we need to go to the hospital. The Bigfoot vertical. There's four of us, Mike. It's fine. It'll be fine. 
Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Anyway, this is yummy. Anyways, um, yeah, like despite all 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 the alcohol, it is interesting that there's still this much booze, but it is a very tasty uh, uh, vintage of, of Bourbon County. But it, it is really surprised that it has this much of a booze hit. Yeah, my my first sip made me feel like I had um uh, like heartburn. It was that much, the kind of like yeah. like. Um, as I acclimate to it, it's it's extremely delicious. It's just um, it's way easier to sip as you like, kind of get yeah, as you get used to it for sure. Yeah, I'm saying, and it doesn't burn on the palate that much. It burns on the way down. That's all. <laughs> right, 100. percent Yeah, you get all the great flavors, then it's like wham. But like even as you drink it, like the more you drink it, yeah, it gets less and less burny. So, but maybe colder, it's but really like delicious. colder, you'd probably lose a lot of the characteristics the dynamics of too. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I guess down in the comments, Goose Island Bourbon County Brands Out 2018 Vintage. Have you had it recently? Have you had it after the five years? Um, what do you think of it? What do you think of it in general? If you're watching this in the future, how far in the future are you? And if you had it, and uh, is the booze still there? Let's find out in like, you know, if you're watching in 20, 2026, 2030. If you're watching in 2020, actually, if you're watching in 2028, how did, how did, how, how did everything go? Let us know. <laughs> It's going to be an interesting four years. <laughs> Anyways, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and notification bell so you're notified when post new videos. And I'm Sean. That's Mike. Nope, that's Ozzy. That's that's Mike. And this is Nerd Science. Cheers, buddy. Just clink. That was a good one. Don't forget to rank the clinks. <laughs> <laughs>